Hey again, everybody. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I've been leak testing the Reefer 170 for over a week now, and it didn't go 100% as planned initially. I had some leaks. Uh, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, but plan is to get some salt water in this thing today. I got the RODI going. So I did have a leak initially coming from the left two bulkheads. These pipes feed from the overflow box and they have two thread connections right here and where the where it meets the overflow glass the bulkhead I thought those were tight enough but uh they were leaking so I made sure that they were tightened a little further and I was a little hesitant to over tighten them initially because I've heard stories of people over tightening and uh, breaking threads and you know different seals so uh, once they were snug enough and I, I just tested it by putting a little water in the overflow box uh, I went ahead and also put tape here just to know where my connections were centered and uh, make sure they didn't move when I added the uh, the connections from the return and the pipes for the uh, drains here. So those didn't move and uh, I was able to successfully leak test it from there. Uh, I do have some noise here coming with this, the filter sock. Uh, I might look at other options. The uh, Red Sea Reefer socks are proprietary that hook up to here they're a rip off for at nine to ten dollars a piece uh, the uh, you you can DIY you know enlarge the the hole to fit in a standard local fish store filter socks uh, but we'll see uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that here's the overflow drain it's pretty quiet if you can hear any residual noise, it's what's coming down from the sump through the filter sock. It's pretty easy to nail down the uh, the drain with their gate valve. I'll go over a real quick inventory of what I'll use as the equipment for this Reefer 170. So we did go through Black Friday, and I wonder if you guys snagged up any good deals but uh, I snagged up some pretty good deals myself spectacular deals matter of fact uh, so first and foremost I'm gonna definitely have a controller on this, on this tank I won't operate another reef tank of a substantial size even for a nano uh, without a controller so first and foremost uh, I'm gonna be rolling with the Apex, the new Apex for that matter, with the built-in Wi-Fi. So I'm excited to try that out. Now to lighting. Um, I'm going to use the XR15 Pro. That is the plan. I'm very disappointed at you Ecotech for not doing any sales for Black Friday. Uh, highly disappointed. I think the rest of America is too. So. Uh, maybe you guys can do a Christmas sale. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you know, I would buy both a Radeon and two MP10s. Uh, so I do have an MP10 on my 37 gallon right now. I was planning on throwing some small tonsies on there. Uh, I'll probably pull the MP10 temporarily just while we get this set up and eventually get a second mp10 down the road uh perhaps you know when we get a sale or uh i find a really good deal on a used one perhaps but kind of wanted to roll with the the quiet drives uh we'll see how that goes I, I do have a uh an old mp10 with a bad dry side it's uh the bearings are shot on it and uh it does make some noise. I, that's what I pulled from the, the Reef Savvy uh, and replaced with that Tunzi uh, powerhead. So 
we'll see how that goes. Uh, but the plan is two MP10s as power heads. Uh, I do plan on using the Reeflink. Uh, I do want to try the WXM module on the, the Neptune, but uh, I think I'm going to give the Reeflink a shot first and foremost. So we'll see. Down the road, I, you know, I got an Apex on the, the other tank, so maybe I'll try the WXM on there and try to do a comparison. Uh, I'm hoping to not have an issue eventually setting up that reflink. That's my only hesitation, so we'll see. I do have a Eheim Compact 2000 uh, as a return. Uh, one something quiet, uh, cost-efficient. Uh, it's, you know, I set it up here on this leak test and it's working out A-OK. -okay. I've got a Tunzi Osmolator cooking up. Uh, the original Tunzi Osmolator 3155 uh, as my auto top off. Uh, the Red Sea Reefer does come with a uh, float, float valve uh, with a auto top off container right above that filter sock. And uh, I'm going to ditch that. Not totally. I'm uh, planning on using that uh, that container as a refugium, perhaps down the road. So once I get this up and running and have some free time, I'll, I'll eventually set that up. So that's the equipment as of now. Um, so I'm gonna go start making some salt water and get this guy filled up. So stay tuned, everybody. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, folks. Stay tuned. Bye, guys.